Yeah, well, hold on, hold on. Go tell me how you feel, eh? Cause lately we've been doing little bit of smoke this year. It is the dawn of yet another campaign in Spain, this proudest of footballing nations which has produced some of the greatest clubs and teams in the history of the sport. No and impossible not to get dragged into the excitement of all of this. Wherever your loyalties lie, rejoice and hang on for the ride. And nobody in this atmosphere can hide from the truth about how much this game matters. The scene overflows with colour and passion. And so in Spain, the great game is ready to get going again. It really is a thinking man's league that's given us some of the best teams, best players and, and best tactics and philosophies, Peter, in the 21st century. So, how could it not be good? And as you can see, we've already started here. I just think what's most important is that both sides give a professional performance. Back in once more. And through to the goalkeeper. forward and he was quick to react and it's Coutinho footballing with usually identifies with running room and we've just seen a prime example oh he's enjoyed that he evidently loves the contest he had a chance to offload that left, so I think he's going to have to swallow his medicine on this one. Moro. Nice control. He's got away. He's had a hit! And it's a goal! It is a good finish. The odds were against him, little matter. Well, I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked a scoring position when it didn't see him on. It's Goal! really crafty business, that. After 21 minutes is number 11. Valladolid get themselves into the lead and that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on well I wouldn't quite advise they should resort to risk-taking at this stage there's plenty of time left yet well that had the makings of something quite promising but it's fizzled out into nothing That is a great pick out. He's beaten the offside trap. He's got tall. And oh, he's got that completely wrong. Oh, look, I don't want to sound too dismissive, but from here, that looks the harder thing to do.
Davis to Ander Herrera. Shores. Oh, can he get onto this? Well, they could break here. Oh, just skips past his man. And he's cut it out. Well, I'm not quite sure he needed to hold up play quite as much as he did then. A couple of his teammates were very annoyed. Davis. And it's Herrera. Looking for options for movement. Now that's a fine that challenge. At a time. Works it forward. Now that's well seen too. And that'll be the last act of the first half. So the end of the first half, both teams have had their moments. There's been no shortage of talking points, but there has been just one goal, and that is the state of it at the break. 1-0. So that was the first half. Still Not the most of convincing of displays. They could certainly do much better than this. They'll want to keep things simple, build up their confidence, and not rush into mistakes. So, for the first time this season, it's half-time. So we're already into the second period. Well, I'm sure the managers talk the talk, and now it's time for these players to walk the walk and deliver a rousing response to a rousing team talk. Amala. Shomer. And the Herrera. Now by a goal, needing to go up a gear. That's how it looks here. Moro engages and forces him off the ball. The attendance for this match was There's some great running on show here, but ultimately there was no way through. Shores. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Yeah, time's running out for the, the host to get something out of this. You can sense the frustration and impatience. Coutinho. And it's Herrera. Chooses to go back. That's a good ball out wide. Well, it's good stuff. This is better. They're coming again and again. Well, the question now is whether they can sustain it. Oh, good read. And the Herrera. He really is being given no time to think on the ball now. Well, he's been dropping into space and spraying balls all over the pitch, so enough seems enough now. Niceties are not part of this approach. This is actually quite aggressive. Well, there's plenty to like about this approach. Get your head down, keep battling away, and eventually things might change for you. Oh, really good feet. Oh, well played, well played. Still nothing guaranteed, and into the final moments. Pedri. Adama Traore. Nicely weighted ball. Well, now it's a race for the ball.
Substitution on the field. Ander Herrera. Thiago Silva. Coming on the field. Kingsley Coleman. Di Maria. Rodrigo De Paul. Pogba. Pogba. Chance. Substitutions taking place. And a second time. Not so much sophistication as doggedness and sheer bloody-mindedness. Our players like this fella almost have a sixth sense to get themselves in such great coaching positions. How quick-minded is that? So all square there with almost no time remaining. It just goes to show you what determination can achieve. OK, there isn't much time left, but if we have to find a winner now, there's no question who I'll be backing. Well, they shouldn't be dawdling at this stage. They need to get the ball in the mixer and quickly. That's a decent clearance. So that's it, it is all over. Madrid are having to do with just a point on day one. Darwin voted man of the match, and deservedly so. Well, after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, I would say that neither manager looks too disappointed, Peter, about this, and I suppose, from their view, at least, there were sufficient positives to take away. It'll be interesting to see...